Hello everyone, the doctor is in. Welcome guys to part 10 of Black Dr. Phil speaking. In this entry, I know I'm sorry I didn't do it in Vegas like I was supposed to. I apologize to you guys. But we are going to talk about Las Vegas in this part 10. So one of the main questions I've been getting is, why do I want to move to Las Vegas? You know, if some of you guys didn't know, uh, I am actually planning on moving to Vegas Uh in the future in the near future so either it'll be late this year or next year haven't fully decided yet but probably this year depending on how everything goes but one of the reasons why i love las vegas i want to move there well one because i'm from detroit so i'm used to the cold weather the snow the below freezing temperatures in vegas they rarely get any kind of snow and it does it doesn't stick and it melts quickly also, there's no below freezing temperatures uh, like that. So it'd be a good uh, temperature-wise change of scenery. Second reason, Vegas is constantly growing. It is growing rapidly. The area is growing. The Metro Valley area is growing like crazy. And there is a lot of things to do there. The people are friendly. Uh, the sports teams are starting to go there. So it's not just a tourist gambling town. But it's also more than that. A lot of people don't take time to go out past the strip when they visit. But if you go out into the cities and the, uh, the neighborhoods, you'll find that Vegas is a lot more than just the strip. Um, another reason why I want to go, the app, the, oh my God, the views. The views are so amazing. Everywhere you turn around, there's a mountain view. I love looking at the mountains. It's very nice to look at and it's very pleasing. Then you got the palm trees. It just gives you some kind of good vibes and the other reason over 300 days of sunshine did you hear me just what i just said over 300 days of sunshine me i i think as a person well I, let me rephrase that as a person i think uh, sunshine affects your whole mood when the sun is shining it puts you in a better mood than when the clouds is, is gray and everything so 300 days of sunshine would be awesome and plus, you know, with the weather out there, weather more out there is always, you know, pretty good. Um, right now, it's their monsoon season. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen on the news. Uh, they got rain yesterday, and it really rained. So, yeah, when it rains, it really rains in Vegas. But that, I could deal with that. I, listen, I'm here with the snow and everything, feet of snow, so I could deal with the rain. That's fine. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's if air, everybody's asking me why I want to move to Vegas, those are the reasons why. I want to move to Vegas, you know, change the scenery. You know, I'm ready to, you know, start over, start fresh, start new. And start a new, embark on a new chapter in my life. So, I, I figured, you know, Vegas would be a great place to do it. Also, another thing I want to touch on, as you guys know, I just came back from Vegas. Had an amazing trip, uh, celebrating my birthday. It, it was awesome. I had an amazing trip. Shout out to uh, Coach Steve, Cash or Crash, Las Vegas Live, for his hospitality. Welcome me to the English Hotel. I had a great time vlogging with him on the scooter ride. And then him coming to the Cosmo for the first time and hanging with us on the balcony. And then riding around with him and going to Somnia Cookies and to the MG and everything. It, it was fun hanging out with him. Um, I got to meet Kia Bell for the first time. Kia is so lovely. I knew she was lovely before I met her in person. But meeting her in person, it was so fun hanging out with her and meeting her. So shout out to Kia Bell. Uh, shout out to two of my favorite people in the whole world, Mary and Robert Valentino. That's my familia right there. I love Mary and Robert to death. And it was I'm glad that they got to come and you know hang in Vegas with me for my birthday. Even though it's after my birthday, but still my birthday and we had fun. And I had a great time hanging with them. Uh, of course, uh, Chef Joe, Donut Bar, Jasmine, and, and all the other girls at Donut Bar, I got to have fun. Um, I got to meet Steph, Vegas to Cali. So it was fun finally meeting her in person. And thank you for my uh, crown. I should have put that on as we're recording this video, but yeah, okay. Uh, it was fun going to the meetup. I got to uh, meet Pomsey and Greta for the first time, which was interesting meeting those two. Um, shout out to Jacob, Jacob's Life in Vegas. If you guys have subscribed to Jacob, do so. He is one of the Vegas OG vloggers. Um, I, there, I consider them the, the 
the, the three triangle, the three or OG three, which is Jacob's Life in Vegas, Sad of Matthew, and Trooper ninety seven. Those three are the OGs of Vegas vlogs. And then of course Norma got to hang out with Norma, have fun with her. So subscribe to Norma Jelly Helly also. It was fun hanging out with her at the after their uh, meet and greet. I didn't make the actual meet and greet. But I did go to the after party at the Sand Dollar inside the plaza, which was fun. It's a loud environment. But I had a lot of fun. Got to meet MC Highlights. Shout out to Miranda and Chris. I had an awesome time hanging with, hanging with them. Got to meet Rhonda. So yeah, I, I got to meet some awesome, great people this trip. Got to have a lot of fun. And I had a blast. The Vegas trip was, oh, was a blast. Shout out to everybody who watched my uh, live streams every day. I appreciate it. Thanks to you guys. Uh, the channel was able to get the 4,000 watch hours. And we're monetized now. So, shout out to everybody. I, I thank you guys. You guys did that. Thank you. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Got some new subscribers. So, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys like what you see. Look out for more. Another one thing I want to touch upon is the, the culture of Vegas and the atmosphere. You know, a lot of things have happened lately where people have wondered, you know, is, is Vegas really a kid's town? And the answer to that is, there are a couple places where, you know, kids and families are, can go and have fun. But there's places that kids should definitely not be, in my opinion. One of the places I think kids should not be is Fremont Street past, I want to say, 8 or 9 p.m. Definitely not. Fremont Street past 8 or 9 p.m., should not be a place for kids. That place, um, with the live music, the dancing, the drinking, and just the performers uh, on Fremont, I don't think that's a good place for kids. That, that definitely should not be, you know, a place for kids at the certain time. So I think they, they should have a curfew for kids after 8 or 9 p.m. on Fremont Street, especially on weekends. Weekends is so crazy and so busy that kids is not a place for kids. Another place I do not think that's for kids is the Cosmopolitan. And before you guys ask me, Cosmopolitan is a hotel, yes, but, and I love the Cosmo. Don't get me wrong. I say it the Cosmo, as you guys know, I love the Cosmo to death. But the reason why I say the Cosmo not for kids is the environment that's in the Cosmo and you see walking around it, it is nothing, nothing at the Cosmo is kid friendly. That Cosmo really should be 21 and up. With the clientele that comes in there, the people that come in there, and a lot of things that goes on in there, it definitely should be 21 and up. Cosmo is definitely nothing is towards is tailored towards kids and cosmopolitan. And I think that should be a 21 and up. But that's just my opinion. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But other than that, yeah, let me guys thank you guys. I appreciate it. And yeah. What's, what's next for part 11? Who knows? We'll see. But yeah. Doctor's office is now closed. If you need to make an appointment, let me know. Come sit on the couch. Talk to me. What's going on? Talk to you guys later. Bye.